Right. Well, you've come into the Waikanae Estuary Scientific Reserve and you're going to help out students from Waikanae School and planting some plants in the reserve and helping restore the area. So make sure you've got your gumboots and your gloves and a spade and let's get planting. Finn over here, very busy digging lots of holes today, but yeah. it's not just about digging random holes, Finn, you've had to think about yeah. how deep to make them. Yeah, so first we get the plant and dig it about the same height as the height of the plant, and then we dig the hole obviously, <laughs> yep. and then we um, plant it and make sure it's not covering the plant, the dirt, and then we have a plant. Perfect, and you've yeah. had to take special care of that soil yeah. so you've got enough to put back in the hole. Yeah. So you've dug lots of holes today. How yeah. did you know how far apart to keep them? It's about a metre. Right, so yeah. I guess that gives enough yeah. space for the plants to grow? Yeah, quite a bit, yeah. Well done. Yeah. Oh well, we'll let you keep yeah. digging some holes and planting those plants. Good yeah. job. Thanks. So the next stage of the process is actually getting the plant in the ground. And you've been busy here, Kaya. Tell us about how you planted this. So you want to take the plant out of the, this and then you want to make sure it's not just like too deep in the hole or too shallow. Yeah. And then you want to put it in, grab all your soil, put it around and push it down to the side so there's no air bubbles. So the roots can go through the soil and so the bugs don't eat the plant. Ah, I guess those bugs could live in the ear pockets, eh? Well, thanks, Kaya. You're doing a great job. We'll let you plant some more plants. Thank you. Okay, so looking around us, we can see quite a few different types of plants. Zena, what, what plant have you got here? Uh, this is a cabbage tree. Oh, cabbage tree. I quite like cabbage trees. So this area looks nice and clear. What did you have to do before you could start planting today? Um, we cleared a, a lot of gorse and blackberry and then a couple of people came along and spot sprayed it. Ah, right, so the weeds don't um, attack the plant and compete with it. Good stuff. So it's winter, a little bit chilly even though the sun's out. Why do we plant in winter? Um, so that it rains, so there's less maintenance needed for the plants. Oh, that makes sense. Well, you're doing a great job. We'll let you get on with your work. Thanks, Zena. Okay, you've made it to the final part of the process. Therese has been busy here. I can hardly see this plant. What have you done? Um, so the first thing we did was we took, put a blanket on. So that's going to help it with the frost from getting in and hurting the plant. Uh, the weeds coming up, so none of them are going to strangle it or hurt it. Um, the, so it's going to absorb all the, the water in it. So then it's going to grow faster for it. Excellent, so it's, it's a multi-purpose mat. So what's it made out of? Um, it's made out of wool, so may, in a year's time it's going to biodegrade, so it's not going to, it's not bad for the environment or anything, so it's, gonna, it's, it's really good, so it's not going to hurt it. Excellent, and tell us about this sleeve. Um, this is a com combi guard so it's going to help it from all the rats and mice that are going to try and get into the plant um it's also going to help it from um the wind so when if the wind's about to hit it it's not going to hurt the roots or the plant inside it and yeah well done so the final part of the process really protects that plant thanks Therese great job well, it's been a busy morning planting here in the Scientific Reserve, but haven't Waikanae School students done a great job? And it will be so rewarding to come back here in a few years to see these plants growing through and making a real impression here in the Scientific Reserve. It's something you could get involved in as well. So check out your local area and get planting. <laughs>